Welcome back to the AI Trail, the leading source for authentic AI news and updates. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into. Microsoft's groundbreaking multimodal AI model called Cosmos 2. In this video, we'll explore how Cosmos 2 is revolutionizing the way we interact with AI. Cosmos 2 is a continuation of AI advancements that Microsoft has been producing at a rapid pace with Cosmos 1 coming out in February 2023 and Cosmos 2, the latest version, following right after its release in June 2023. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Have you ever wished for easier ways to communicate with AI? What if you could use images instead of text to interact with your AI assistant? Well, that's precisely what Cosmos 2 brings to the table. It allows us to have more natural and intuitive interactions with AI, bridging the gap between humans and machines. But before we delve into the details of Cosmos 2, let's first understand what multimodal AI is and why it matters. Multimodal AI refers to artificial intelligence systems that can process and understand various types of data, such as text, images, videos, and sounds. In the past, AI models could only handle one type of data at a time, limiting their ability to relate different types of information. This limitation has been overcome with the emergence of multimodal large language models, also known as MLMs, like Cosmos 2. These models built upon the foundation of large language models, LLMs, such as GPT-3 and BERT, have the ability to understand and generate content from multiple data sources simultaneously. By converting different data types into a unified form called tokens, MLMs enable the processing of mixed content, much like how humans integrate information from various sources in their everyday lives. Earlier this year, Microsoft unveiled Cosmos 1, a pioneering multimodal language model trained on vast amounts of web data containing both text and images. Cosmos 1 excelled at tasks like generating captions for images and answering questions based on visual input. However, it had its limitations, particularly in understanding and connecting visual information. While we can effortlessly describe or locate elements in an image, Cosmos 1 struggled with this task. It could generate text based on images, but couldn't pinpoint specific areas or answer questions requiring visual reasoning. So let me introduce you to Cosmos 2, the latest version of Microsoft's multimodal language model. Cosmos 2 introduces a groundbreaking feature called grounding, which allows for more accurate and meaningful interactions with images. It enables Cosmos 2 to use words or coordinates to refer to specific parts of an image, just like how we could draw a circle around a dog or label a ball. Grounding works by creating hyperlinks between image elements and their descriptions, connecting images with words in a more precise and dynamic manner. Now, let's delve deeper into how grounding works. Imagine a picture as a checkerboard divided into squares. Each square is assigned a unique tag, such as lock 1-1 or lock 3-4. These tags are then incorporated into the picture's description at the corresponding positions. For example, if an image shows a dog chasing a ball, and the dog's head is in the square tagged as lock 1-1, the description would read, a lock 1-1 dog is chasing a ball in a park. When you click on lock 1-1, Cosmos 2 highlights the dog's head in the picture, establishing a seamless connection between words and image elements. Now, let's talk about the remarkable capabilities of Cosmos 2. It excels in tasks like identifying phrases and images, processing language, and locating specific regions with images with impressive accuracy. In fact, Cosmos 2 consistently outperforms other models in tasks like phrase location, achieving a remarkable accuracy of 91.3%. Its exceptional performance goes beyond numerical results, it's about the tangible benefits it offers. So, what are the practical applications of Cosmos 2? Imagine being able to generate detailed captions for images, marking specific regions with location tokens. This can aid people with visual impairments in understanding images, support students in grasping new concepts, and enable content creators to craft more immersive stories. Additionally, Cosmos 2 can answer questions about specific regions with images, providing detailed information based on location tokens. This is valuable for researchers extracting insights, customers making image-based decisions, and users seeking an in-depth understanding of an image. The potential of Cosmos 2 extends even further. It can perform logical or mathematical operations based on specific regions in an image, which has applications in solving image-based puzzles, 
teaching mathematical skills, and creating challenges for game developers. The versatility and adaptability of Cosmos 2 make it an incredibly powerful tool across various domains and industries. Excited to experience Cosmos 2 for yourself? Microsoft has released an online demo of Cosmos 2 on GitHub, where you can interact with the model and witness its capabilities firsthand. You can upload your own images or use provided ones, ask questions or give instructions using text or voice, and observe how Cosmos 2 creates hyperlinks between image elements and caption tokens while providing visual responses. It's a fun and engaging way to explore different scenarios and witness the potential of Cosmos 2. Allow me to show you 12 examples from the paper itself, and then I will move on to the live demo to give you an understanding of this extraordinary technology. I will also leave a link below so you can try Cosmos 2 firsthand. If we give it an image, Cosmos 2 is able to answer questions about specific coordinates with that image. For example, here, it's able to identify the Sydney Opera House. What's interesting is you can now ask it questions like, when was it built? And continue to ask about other parts of the image, like identifying the Sydney Harbour Bridge. In this complex image with four individuals, we are asking questions about each person and what they are doing. This second example seems mind-boggling, because it is able to identify that he is not just horse riding, he is also holding a flag. And, as they say, save the best for last. Cosmos 2 can even detect this third person is facing the person on the right towards the right side of the fence. This is simply a mind-boggling next level of AI image-based understanding. Here are a few other examples of a reference image given to Cosmos 2, where it is predicting different objects on the image. Although most of them are accurate, I want to pinpoint at the very first image which is showing the sport of cricket. The question asked here is incorrect itself, as the person standing in the middle is not a coach, but a cricket empire. I will show a similar example of this in the demo, which shows that this model will need a little more diverse set of underlying image data sets to be trained on. Next up is three fantastic examples of grounded question answering, where Cosmos 3 is able to reason about different objects in the group to come up with a conclusion. I want you to focus on the middle image, where we are giving it a question more so as a reference, telling this AI engine that there is a car in a red box that needs to pick up the man identified in the green box. With an excellent understanding of the image, Cosmos 2 is able to reason that the car needs to go through the intersection and turn right to pick up the man. This, in my opinion, is extraordinary. Lastly, there are a few examples of where Cosmos is able to generate an entire description based on the image given to it as input, like this image, where Cosmos 2 is able to identify that this man is blowing fire this in a tropical palm tree so, setting. Now, in conclusion, let's jump right Microsoft's into Cosmos 2 is transforming the field of multimodal AI. Revolution the way we interact with AI systems. With its groundbreaking grounding feature, Cosmos 2 bridges the gap between text and images, enabling more intuitive and accurate communication. The practical applications of Cosmos 2 are vast and varied, benefiting individuals with visual impairment, educators, content creators, researchers, and more. As we witness the rapid advancements in AI technology, it's clear that Cosmos 2 is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This model represents a significant step towards more human-like interactions with AI, bringing us closer to a future where AI understands and responds to us in a truly multimodal manner. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the incredible capabilities of Cosmos 2. If you found this video informative and engaging, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the latest advancements in AI. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Until next time, keep embracing the possibilities of AI. And we'll see you soon.